Hey everyone, Sharla here at the Kipling Public Library branch. Our take and make this week, we are doing a fall fun leaf wreath. Try and say that 10 times fast. In your bag, kids, all you're gonna find is two things. You're gonna find your wreath and you're gonna find some ribbon to hang up your wreath afterwards, but the rest of the work is all up to you. I want you to take your bag outside and you can go find the leaves that are gonna be part of your wreath. And I'll show you a couple things that I found. I started gathering my leaves this morning. And so I've got maybe about a little less than half a bag of leaves here of all different colors and shapes and sizes. And I just wanted to let you know, there's a lot of brown crunchy leaves out there right now. And you can put a couple of these in your bag, but if you have too many of them, they'll kind of, they'll get all crinkly and they'll break when you're carrying them. So what you kind of want to be looking for is leaves that are still pretty bendy, kind of like this one here. It hasn't dried out yet. It's still a nice bright color. And I've got a few of different colors. There's red ones and kind of greeny yellows. Sometimes you can find these lying around on the ground where there's a bunch all on the same stem. So I want you to go see what you can find outside and then we'll go through how to make the craft. Have fun. Okay, so let's get started on our fall fun leaf wreath. I've got my plate out here ready to go and this little hole here is going to be the top of our wreath. We're going to put our ribbon through there at the end to hang it up. The other thing to keep in mind is you can make your wreath this way, but I think that you can see the leaves a little bit better if you, rather than having up like a bowl, you flip it over like this so it kind of sticks up like a little bit of a hill. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some glue around our wreath. Now I'm doing, I'm probably going to work on half because I think that my glue is going to dry. So I put lots and lots of glue on there and then I've got an old paintbrush and I'm going to take that old paintbrush and I'm going to spread that glue around a little bit and you can be working on this at the same time with me if you've got your glue and your leaves ready. So we've got that all spread out and then I'm going to get some of my leaves and you just kind of start placing them around and there's a there's a more dry crunchy one there got some green ones and you'll slowly slowly work all the way around you might have to add more glue as you go that's okay and I find that if you start with your bigger leaves on the bottom you can always put some more glue like for this one here um, if I want to put another leaf on top so that I can see you could always add some glue and put maybe a more colorful one on top and you're going to do this all the way around. So I'm going to work on mine for a little bit and then I will show you how I've got, what I've got done and then you can show me what yours is looking like. All right, so this is where I'm at so far with my fall leaf wreath. I hope yours is going really well. I'm noticing I'm needing to use a lot of glue to make sure my leaves stick on here. So if you're finding that as well, that's just fine just wanted to show you the last few steps on here and you'll see why it was kind of kind of fun to find different colors here because when you put them all together it just looks beautiful and you can use your imagination on this maybe you'll find a few other things outside that you want to glue on I know I had found some berries on the ground that might look kind of nice or some pine cones or things like that um, so you're going to go around, you'll cover up the whole thing. You can even put more leaves on than I did, if you'd like. And now I'm going to do this very carefully because it's still wet. I'll lose a couple leaves, that's okay. So this hole here is where we're going to put our ribbon through. So I've got different color ribbons in the different bags because I had not enough of the same kind of ribbon for everybody to have the same, but that's okay. So I'm going to thread that through and if you need to ask a grown-up for help, you can. And we're just going to tie a regular knot in there to hang this up. You can hang this up on your wall or on the door. Um, give it lots and lots of time to dry. Ooh, here we go. And you can hang it up just like that. Drop a picture in the comments of your wreath. I'd love to see what you've made. And you have a great week.